Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Neeti Goel from Indra Gandhi National College, District Kurukshetra. Today, we are going to discuss about module Theory Z under paper Principles and Practices of Management. After completing this module, the students will be able to understand the Theory Z management style, know about the assumptions and features of Theory Z, expected result of Theory Z management style and limitations of Theory Z. Effective management and leadership require a good understanding of human psychology and behavior and factor underlying these. This provides an understanding of how to direct and motivate the employees so that the desired objectives could be achieved effectively. Performance of an employee depends not only his ability but also on the level of his motivation. Even the most efficient employee cannot perform in the absence of motivation. Theory Z was developed by Professor William Mauchi after making a comparative study of the Japanese and American management practices. Theory Z is an integrated model of motivation which combines the best features of Japanese and American management styles. Theory Z suggests a kind of give and take relationship between the organization and employees. It suggests that an employee will feel motivated and give his best to the organization if his human needs and social, personal and professional needs are realized and fulfilled by the organization. Theory Z is a participative management style and for it to be a success, it is important that management must have high degree of confidence in its workers. Development of Theory Z Theory Z was introduced into the management jargon by Professor Auchi. In the 1970s and 1980s, many United States companies were underperforming and losing their market shares, while Japanese companies were outperforming the world. This led to the concern about the productivity and competitiveness of US companies, which led many researchers to examine the reasons for the success enjoyed by the Japanese. Auchi in his book called Theory Z, How American business can meet the Japanese challenge, 1981, discussed how American corporations can meet the Japanese challenges with a highly effective management style. Auchi found the Japanese work culture and management style to be different. Japanese work in groups rather than as individuals and always come to a situation via teamwork. Japanese work culture is characterized by job security, social cohesion and holistic concern for employees. Japanese show a high level of enthusiasm to work. The difference between the Japanese and American management style. The first difference is on the basis of working style. Working style in American organizations are individual whereas Japanese organizations prefer teamwork. Term of employment. Term of employment in American organizations is short, whereas it is long in Japanese organizations. On the basis of job security, job security is not present in American organizations, whereas it is present in Japanese organizations. On the basis of decision making, decision making style is individual in American organizations, whereas in Japanese organizations, decisions are taken as a group. On the basis of responsibility. American organizations assume individual responsibility, whereas there is collective responsibility in Japanese organizations. Promotions. In Japanese or organizations, slow promotions are there, whereas in American organizations, promotions tend 
to be quick as regards concern for employee the concern for employee in american organizations is segmented whereas there is holistic concern for the employee in japanese organizations according to auchi the secret to japanese success is not technology but the way they manage people and organization this is a managing style that focuses on a strong company philosophy a distinct corporate culture long range staff development and consensus decision making it was given by auchi in 1981 William Auchi didn't advocate the use of Japanese culture for the American business as such instead he came up with a hybrid management approach combining Japanese management philosophies with the US culture this hybrid management style that evolved out of the best practices of the US and the Japanese culture is theory z theory z capitalizes on the best characteristics of Japanese organizations while retaining aspects of management that are deeply rooted in US traditions of individualism auchi proposed that a theory z management approach could lead to high employee morale greater employee commitment and job satisfaction lower rates of absenteeism and turnover high quality products and high productivity better overall financial performance and a strong workforce theory z is based on certain assumptions these assumptions actually form the basis of the theory the assumptions on which theory z is based are first employees tend to want to build cooperative and intimate relationships with their employers and also with other employees in the organization employees expect the organization to support them employees prefer a secure employment employees want to be facilitated by the organization for their development through training and job rotation employees highly value a working em- environment in which social institutions and family are regarded equally important as work workers have a very well developed sense of order discipline and a moral obligation to work hard if management supports the workers and care for their well-being workers also do their jobs with their utmost ability they can make collective decisions through consensus one of the essential prerequisites of theory z is that the management must have high degree of confidence in its workers features of theory z the primary features of theory z can be discussed as follows first mutual trust theory z presupposes trust integrity and openness between the members of the organization when trust and openness exist between the members conflict is reduced to the minimum and employees cooperate fully to achieve the organization's objectives second is long term employment 
Theory Z emphasizes long-term employment. This promotes stability in the organization and job security among employees. It also promotes loyalty towards the enterprise and hence a stable and conducive work environment. However, in traditional U.S. organizations, employer-employee relationship was short-term only, but Japanese organizations make long life employment commitments with their employees with some conditions and expect loyalty in return. The third feature of Theory Z is slow evaluation and promotion. Under Theory Z, the potential of every person is recognized and attempts are made to develop and utilize it through job enlargement, career planning, training, job rotation, etc. Promotions are slow under this management style. As against vertical movement of employees, emphasis is placed on horizontal movement. This way, employees develop a good knowledge about the various issues of the company and become competent to take various decisions and contribute to decision making. The fourth feature of Theory Z is it is an integrated organization. Theory Z organizations are integrated organizations which focus on sharing of information and resources rather than any formal structure. It stresses on job rotation, which improves understanding about interdependence of tasks, which lead to group spirit. Next feature of Theory Z is a moderately specialized career path. Theory Z management style doesn't stress too much on extreme specialization as was the case with the American style organizations where employees were restricted to one functional career path. Theory Z advocates workers to become generalists rather than specialists and to increase their knowledge about various issues of the company and its processes through job rotations and constant training. It stresses employees to be very knowledgeable about the various issues of the company as well as possess the competence to make those decisions and work for overall development of the company. Workers are given slow promotions since spending more time on same job makes him trained in his operations and worker gets more chance to increase his overall knowledge about the company's operations. Next feature of Theory Z is employee involvement. Theory Z emphasizes collective decision making which is contrasting to American corporate culture which favored individualism. Theory Z suggests that the involvement of employees in decision making, particularly in matters directly affecting them, improves their commitment and performance. It also generates a sense of responsibility and motivates them in the implementation of decisions. Top management facilitates in decision making rather than taking decision themselves. Next feature is individual responsibility within a group context. This feature combines the characteristics of both Japanese and the American organizations. Type Z organizations emphasize on individual performance but within the group. Thus, not only the group but also an employee individually is responsible for the achievement of goals. Next feature is informal control with formalized measures. Theory Z emphasizes mutual trust and cooperation rather than on superior subordinate relationships. Theory Z organizations are basically social organizations 
but still there is a formal structure that binds the employees such as formal authority responsibility relationships performance evaluation and some work specialization this is an attempt to combine elements of both american and japanese organizations the next feature of theory z is that it is a holistic concern theory z organizations show holistic concern for the employee this philosophy is more consistent with the japanese model than the us model theory z stresses on the overall development of the employee social needs personal needs professional needs and human needs of an employee are taken care of by the organization social life and customs are given equal importance as work according to professor auchi theory z organizations are completely social and share common values beliefs and objectives this helps in achieving a rapport between the employee and group goals cultural values should promote greater organizational commitment among employees although theory z organizations are social but still there is a formal structure that binds them such as formal authority relationships performance evaluation and some work specialization under theory z holistic development and well-being of an employee is taken care of both on and off the job proponents of theory z suggest that it leads to improvements in organizational performance theory z incorporates long-term investment in employees training the ability to make collective decisions and ability to handle the higher positions in the future by overall knowledge of the organizational tasks theory z is applicable to skilled workers who intend to remain with the company for long time a worker who is hired for some time is not a theory z worker unskilled workers also do not fall under theory z benefits of theory z theory z management approach could lead to high employee morale greater employee commitment and job satisfaction lower rates of absenteeism and turnover high quality products and high productivity better overall financial performance and a strong work force limitations of theory z as nothing is absolute theory z also suffers from some limitations which have been discussed below the following are the limitations of theory z first theory z is less motivating for employees with higher level needs theory z organizations stress on providing lifetime employment to the employees to develop a strong bond between organization and employees but this may fail to motivate employees with higher level needs it merely provides job security and may fail to develop loyalty among employees an employee may leave the organization when better employment are offered to him by some other enterprise the second limitation of theory z is lethargic providing complete job security may create lethargy among some employees they may feel satisfied with the thought of job security and thus may become reluctant to take responsibilities employers also do not like to retain inefficient employees permanently third limitation is the lack of authority of higher level employees participation of employees in the decision making process is very difficult employees may not 
like to participate in decision making due to fear of criticism to make the employees take initiative key issues should be made clear to them involvement of all employees may also slow the decision making process and also the involvement of all the employees in decision making it decreases the authority of higher level employees chaos theory z suggest organization without any structure but without structure there may be chaos in the organization as nobody will know who is responsible to whom the fifth limitation is difficult to create a common culture it may not be possible to develop a common culture in the organization because people differ in their attitudes habits languages religions customs etc not practical theory z is based on japanese management practices these practices have evolved from japan's unique culture therefore the theory may not be applicable to different cultures thus theory z does not provide complete solution to motivational problems of all organizations operating under different types of environment however it is not merely a theory of motivation but a philosophy of managing some of the american firms following theory z are ibm procter and gamble hewlett packard eastman kodak and us military theory analysis comparisons and contrasts theory z as at a first instance reminds us of the two similarly named theories theory x and theory y it's natural to compare theory z with theory x and theory y the two similarly named management models the three theories look at the attitudes of managers and work with different views they both deal with perceptions and assumptions about the employees theory x and theory y both were propounded by Douglas McGregor both are contrasting theories making different set of assumptions about the behavior and attitude of employees and thus their motivation these theories see human behavior and motivation as the main priority in maximizing output at the workplace theory z developed by dr william auchi is sometimes considered a blend of these two models with more inclination towards theory y A brief snapshot of the th- two theories has been presented below. Theory X was the earliest theory and makes a pessimistic view of workers. It uses the carrot and the stick approach to motivate workers. Theory X basically holds the belief that workers dislike work. They are inherently lazy and they do not like to take responsibilities money is the only motivation to work and strict supervision is required to get the work done theory y contrasts theory x this theory makes positive assumptions about human behavior these are employees do not dislike work they are ambitious workers like to assume responsibilities they are self directed and self motivated they have strong desire to participate in the decision making process money is not the sole motivator monetary incentives motivate employees with low level of needs but non monetary incentives play a major role in motivating employees with higher level of needs Theory Z is sometimes considered as a blend of these two models with more inclination towards theory Y. However, it is also possible to argue that theory Z does not belong with theory X and theory Y. Theory Z also makes positive assumptions about the behavior of employees towards work. Theory Z focuses on long-term employment and job security. informal control and a deep concern for the happiness and well-being of employees both on and off the job 
theory Y is largely a psychological perspective focusing on individual relationships in the organization, while theory Z changes the level of analysis to the entire organization. Comparison of theory X, theory Y, and theory Z. The first basis of difference between the theories is self-motivation. Under theory X, it is assumed that employees are not self-motivated. Theory Y assumes that employees are self-motivated and Theory Z also assumes that the employees are self-motivated. The next basis of difference between the theories are initiative. Under Theory X, employees do not like to take initiative. It is assumed this way. Under theory Y, it is assumed that employees like to take initiative. And also, under theory Z, it is assumed that employees like to take initiative. The third basis of difference between the th three theories is the leadership style of managers. Under Theory X, leaders follow an authoritative management style. Under Theory Y, participative style is followed. And under Theory Z, the leadership style is more participative. Next basis of difference is formal structure of organization. Under Theory X and Theory Y, there exists a formal structure of organization, whereas there is no formal structure for Theory Z organizations. The next basis of difference is specialization. Under Theory X and Theory Y, employees are supposed to be specialists in their functional career path. However, under Theory Z, employees are supposed to be generalists rather than specialists so that they can take better decisions for the organization as they would be more aware of the various aspects. The next basis of difference is job security. Theory X and Theory Y are silent about job security. However, under Theory Z, employees are provided security of their jobs. Promotions. Theory X and Theory Y are silent about promotions, but Theory Z organizations prefer slow promotions. Decision making. Decision making style under Theory X is individual under theory Y is individual or participative as the case may be, but under theory Z, the decision-making style is participative. The next basis of difference is the motivating factor. Under theory X, it is assumed that money is the only motivating factor. Under theory Y, it is assumed that Money is the motivating factor for employees with lower level needs and non-monetary factor are motivating factors for employees with higher level needs. However, under Theory Z, what motivates employees is the taking care of their social, personal, professional and human needs. Motivating Style Theory X assumes a carrot and a stick approach or a negative motivational style. Theory Y uses a positive motivational style and also this, it is similar with Theory Z. It also uses a positive motivational style. So several similarities and differences can be seen in the ideas of these theories with Theory Y and Theory Z making some similar assumptions. Theory Y makes assumptions about what managers perceive employees to be. Theory Z in addition talks about how the workers might perceive management to be. 
So students, let us summarize what we have learned in this module. Theory Z incorporates the strengths of the American management and the Japanese management systems. Theory Z was developed by Professor Auchi. He argued that such a hybrid management philosophy would allow organizations to enjoy many of the advantages of both the systems. It is a humanistic approach to management. It provocates that the success of an organization depends on the quality of humanism used. Although it is based on Japanese management principles, it is not a pure form of Japanese management. Theory Z emphasizes things such as job rotation, broadening of the skills, generalization versus specialization, and the need for continuous training of workers. Thank you.